ninth grade English for Starters book. This record covers the third lesson from the first unit of module one. It's presented by Light Initiative and voiced by Zainab Shaheen. The title of the lesson is Keeping Up with the News. Aziz Talib. هذا النص عبارة عن مقال بيحكي عن وسائل الحصول على الأخبار وبالأخص عن طريق الصحف ومواقع الإنترنت المقطع الأول بيحكي عن تاريخ نشأة الصحف من قبل حوالي 500 سنة بشكل رئيسي بألمانيا وأن الصحف كانت تكتب بخط اليد وبتتناول مواضيع الحروب والأوضاع الاقتصادية والاجتماعية واهتمامات الناس بالإضافة إلى أن الصحف قديما كانت غالية وغير متاحة للفقراء والناس العاديين هالشي اللي تغير بعد اختراع الطباعة بالقرن التسعة عشر وخلى الصحف متاحة للجميع المعلومة الأخيرة بهذا المقطع بتقول أنه أول صحيفة نشرت بالعالم ولا زالت موجودة كانت بالنمسا سنة 1703 بينما بالعالم العربي أقدم صحيفة كانت الأهرام واللي نشر أول عدد منها سنة 1876 بالانتقال إلى المقطع الثاني فالحديث بدور حول أنه ما في صحيفة قادرة ترسل الصحفيين العاملين عندها ليغطوا كل حدث بيصير حول العالم لذلك بيتم التعاقد مع وكالات إخبارية موثوقة بكل بلد وأنه ما في صحيفة بتتسعى لكل الأخبار والأحداث لذلك بيعقد محرر الأخبار اجتماع عمل بيقرر من خلاله مع زملائه الأخبار والإعلانات والصور اللي المفروض تنشر بكل عدد بينما بالمقطع الأخير عم يذكروا أنه عدد قراء الصحف المطبوعة مؤخرا صار أقل لأنه كل صحيفة صار عندها موقع على الإنترنت بيغطي الأخبار أول بأول لذلك الاتجاه مستقبلا لتخصيص الصحف المطبوعة فقط لكتابة المقالات والآراء والتعليقات بينما تغطية الأخبار والعواجل رح تكون من نصيب الصحف الإلكترونية So let's begin Newspapers contain news, information and advertising and are printed on low-cost paper They can be daily or weekly, national or local Newspapers began about 500 years ago The first ones were in Germany In those days, newspapers were handwritten and used to be passed from person to person, but they weren't very different from today. They had information about wars, economic conditions, social customs, and human interest features. Newspapers used to be very expensive, poor people couldn't afford them, but in the 1800s, printing became cheaper and ordinary people could afford to buy them. The oldest newspaper still in existence was first published in Austria in 1703. The oldest newspaper in the Arab world is Al Ahram, which is started in 1876. People who write articles for a newspaper are called journalists. Journalists, but no newspaper can afford to send journalists to report on all events. So they buy stories from news agencies around the world. And no newspaper has room for all the stories that happen every day. So the news editor holds a meeting where they decide what stories to publish. They also decide where the photos and advertisements will go. These days, newspapers are cheap because half the cost is paid for by advertising. A lot of people used to read a paper every day, but today, fewer people are reading newspapers than before. Instead, they go online and get their news from newspaper websites. Although we now have 24-hour news on TV and online, newspapers are printed only once a day. So in the future, newspapers may put all the freshest news online and the printed newspapers will only have articles with opinions and comments. Vocabulary Newspapers Headlines Cartoon Weather forecast Review Advert Caption Exercise number one Match the parts of newspapers with the reasons why you would read them. Number 1. Headlines. The answer is number E. Find out the main news quickly by reading these short explanations. Number 2. Cartoon. The answer is number F. Laugh at funny pictures and words. Number 3. Weather forecast. The answer is number C. Find out about the weather. Number 4. Review. The answer is number A. Read opinions about films and books. Number 5. Advert. The answer is 
Number B. Look at pictures of products and explanations about them. Number 6. Caption. The answer is number D. Read these and their pictures. They give you information. Exercise number 3. Read the article and answer these questions. Number 1. How long have newspapers existed? The answer is they have existed for about 500 years. Number 2. Where did the first newspapers appear? The answer is they appeared in Germany. Number 3. When did newspapers become cheaper? The answer is they became cheaper in the 1800s. ملاحظة, in the 1800s. الثاني بالقرن ال 19 يعني من 1800 ل 1899 number 4 what happens at the editors meeting the answer is they decide what stories to publish and where the photos and advertisements will go number 5 what is the oldest newspaper in the arab world the answer is it is al ahram number 6 what is the future of newspapers the answer is they may put all the freshest news online and only have articles with a Opinions, comments in the printed newspapers. Number seven. For what purpose would you yourself read a newspaper? The answer is up to you. Exercise number six. Over to you. In groups, discuss this statement. Reading a newspaper is better than reading news on the internet. Think of as many reasons for and against as possible. Then report to the class. Suggested answers. The points which are for reading a newspaper. Number one. Reading a newspaper is better for your eyes than reading a computer screen. Number two, reading a newspaper is more enjoyable. Number three, you can read a newspaper on the bus more easily. Number four, you can cut out and keep interesting articles and read them again a month later. Number five, you can see the whole article at the same time. You don't have to scroll down. The points which are against reading a newspaper. Number one, news on the internet is fresher than news in newspapers. Number two, you can read the news from several different newspapers online and compare stories and viewpoints. Number three, it's quicker to find a story online than to go out and buy a newspaper. Number four, you can use a search engine to find the story you're interested in. Now let's move to the same lesson in the activity book. Page number seven, writing section. Read the statement. It's better to watch news on TV than read newspapers. The the question is, organize the following points into two lists for and against the statement. Add any more points you can think of to the table. The points which are for watching news on TV. Number one, you can find out about the news more often on TV. Number two, TV news is more interesting because you can listen to people speaking. Number three, you can understand news better when you see it on TV. Number three, there aren't always pictures of things you're reading about in the newspaper. Number five, students don't have enough time to read a newspaper every day. The points which are against watching news on TV. Number one, you can read newspapers anywhere, on the bus or train, for example. Number two, reading is more relaxing than watching TV. Help box. When you are presenting different points of view, for or against a statement, use the following expressions. If you want to explain your point, you you can say, I think, in my opinion, because, if you want to give an example, you can say, for example, whereas if you want to give an opposite point of view, you can say, on the other hand, or however, now complete the essay. First of all, I think that it's important for students to know what's happening in the world, but there are lots of ways to find out about the news. Newspapers are a good way to find out the latest news, because, give some of the points for reading a news newspaper. You can make use of the aforementioned points in the first exercise. Let's continue. However, there are many advantages of watching the news on TV instead. For example, give some examples of points for news on TV. Many people think that. Also, you can give some examples of points for news on TV. On the other hand, now you have to give some of the points against news on TV. As a conclusion, we can say that although newspapers are used useful way to find out about the news, many people these days find TV easier, more convenient, and more interesting. The end of the record and the lesson. Wish you all